a lot of us here in Southeast and around the world, I'm sure, are hanging on to their culture. So with spruce roots being so close to the edge of not being practiced so much anymore, because, you know, we all have limited time. And, um, you know, uh, Dolores is just always just given weaving in general her all. The fear that it was going to be lost. And I knew that Haida basketry had been like that until my mother took an interest and started teaching it. I was really afraid that the same thing was going to happen with Tlingit basketry. Tlingit basketry was such a beautiful art and they really did so many different designs that I felt a real commitment to continue to teach it. When we come together to the table and weave at night, we're sharing hundreds, if not thousands, of years of history that's gone into the weaving. Divided it by three to 28. And anyone who weaves knows that when you start weaving, it is so amazing. It is such a fun thing to do. It's so calming, it's like meditation. These types of classes are just awesome because we know the urgency and we're not afraid to share secrets. That type of dedication is what's gonna keep it, throw some threads into the recovery of this, this, almost lost art form.